Hello, and welcome to part three of my insulin pump videos. So this will be just a short video where I briefly review insulin calculations with insulin pumps. And so there's a few things that I wanna talk about in this video. The first is that uh, I've got on the screen here a pump initiating settings from the Medtronic website. And so this is the, the protocol you would follow if you were to change someone from MPI over to an insulin pump. You can see the instructions here and all the insulin calculations here. But there's just a few things that I want to focus on today. The first you can see on that first line there is reduce injection dose. Generally, when you're switching someone from uh, MDI over to SCII, you reduce the dose by 25%. So why do you do that? Um, the reason is, is because the insulin pump mimics the normal secretion of a pancreas uh, more, more similarly. And so the insulin is used more efficiently. So when you uh, give yourself like a large dose of a basal, say you're giving yourself 100 units of Traceba of Q QHS at, at bedtime, that uh, insulin doesn't go into the bloodstream right away. It forms a depot underneath your skin, a subcutaneous depot of insulin underneath your skin. And, you know, sometimes those, uh, sometimes the insulin can degrade. Sometimes enzymes come and chop down on it a bit and you lose some of the insulin. And so you don't have that when you're slowly infusing insulin uh, using an insulin pump. There's no big depot to degrade. It just you're infusing at a very uh, slow rate and you don't get that uh, degradation. So you can reduce the dose by about 25%. And that has benefits because uh, with, the less in with less insulin you use, the less weight gain you have. So that's why you reduce the dose by 25%. Um, another thing I should mention is that after you've reduced the dose by 25%, you divide it about you divide it by 50-50, basal, bolus, or 60-40, bolus, basal. I know in my uh, insulin calculations cheat sheet that I put 60 basal, 60 bolus, 40 basal as the uh, example, but I've seen both used, and um, I'll probably change that next year to 50-50 because that's probably more commonly used. So 50 bolus, 50 basal. And the rules for insulin, uh, for insulin adjustment with insulin pumps is actually exactly the same as MDI. Some people think that, oh my God, it's an insulin pump. You must use completely different Harry Potter magical rules. But it's the same rules. You, uh, first of all, you look for lows, patterns of lows. And if the, the lows are at fasting, you decrease the basal. And if the lows are after meals, then you decrease the bolus then you would look for patterns of highs. If there's high highs in the fasting, then you increase the basal. And if there's highs in the bolus, bolus postprandial after meals, then you would increase the bolus. So it follows the exact same rules as uh, MDI insulin. Uh, as I talked about in some other videos, if you see an insulin pump, if you see an insulin pump question, don't panic. I know it's, uh, you know, SCII is different from MDI, but the rules of insulin adjustment are exactly the same. And so, for example, say I have a patient who's getting uh, on a pump, who's getting high sugars in the morning. Well, the, a pattern of high sugars in the morning. Well, then I know that their, bol their basal insulin is not set high enough. So say their uh, basal insulin is set at 1.1 units per hour. Well, then I would increase it by 10%, just the same thing that I do for an MDI insulin person. Uh, so I would increase their uh, infusion rate from 1.1 units per hour to 1.2 units per hour. And then if it's still high the next day, I would increase it to 1.3. So the same exact rules apply, the same uh, looking for patterns of lows, looking for patterns of highs is the same. And yeah, that's everything that I wanted to talk about in this video. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Uh, but thank you for watching.